Welcome to Car Camping 101, our really quick and rather informative tips, tricks, and tools to get you outside and onto the back roads. In this episode, we'll cover sleep setups and systems. We'll compare some different sleeping options, temperature control tricks, and ways to sleep well while car camping. Sleeping pads are really light and super packable. And chances are, if you're into camping, you already have one of these. But they're not always the most comfortable option, and sometimes they can puncture easily. Homemade setups can be really comfortable to sleep on, but can be a little cumbersome trying to take in and out of your car. You might be tempted to build your own platform, which is cool, but those could be costly and interrupt the normal use of your vehicle. Air mattresses are great, but they are not one size fits all. Sure, you could use your air mattress from home, but why would you do that when there's already a tailor-made vehicle air mattress built to endure your wild adventures? I mean, have you seen the Luno air mattress? Let's take a closer look. Okay, okay, just a few things about the Luno air mattress really quickly. The full length experience is a whopping six feet, two inches. Once fully inflated, it's four inches thick. It has adjustment valves on both sides so you can adjust the firmness to your liking and it's made of a super durable fabric to stand up to any test you put it through. Not all pillows are created equal. If you've got a dandy at home on your bed, be sure to bring it because you've got the space and a good night's sleep is priceless. If you're looking to travel light, you could always bring an inflatable pillow. There's lots on the market. If you forget a pillow, you can always make one out of a hooded jacket, like so. It's a toss up when choosing between sleeping bags and blankets. Both are super easy to set up and while you'll probably stay warmer in a sleeping bag, if you bring enough blankets, you can weather any storm. Speaking of sleeping bags, don't be fooled into thinking one sleeping bag is just as good as the next. They're rated according to temperature, and that's the lower limit at what you might feel comfortable. This sleeping bag is rated to 19 degrees Fahrenheit, so you might not be comfortable in temperatures that dip below that. Sleeping bag liners are a great way to add a few degrees of warmth to your sleeping bag, and they're really easy to clean. Sleeping bags work by trapping air that is then warmed by your body. So even if they feel cold when you first get in them, Fight the urge to overdress, even on the coldest nights. It's hot! I'm warming up the air! <laughs> Have you ever been camping and thought to yourself, where's the thermostat? If the thermometer is climbing towards triple digits, roll down the windows for some added airflow and ventilation. These window screens add a layer of privacy while prohibiting bugs from entering your sleeping sanctuary. This small but mighty fan will cool things off when temperatures turn on. To avoid that sticky, tacky, clammy feeling when it's really warm outside, having a sleeping bag liner, a bed sheet, or the fitted mattress sheet as a moisture wicking barrier will work wonders for your comfort level. On the other hand, when temps dip below freezing, here are a few ways to get warm and stay warm. Thermogenesis is the scientific term for eating food that makes you warmer. A hot meal is the best way to start a cold night. Having a hot beverage right before bed is also a great way to warm up the insides. But don't drink too much because it could backfire. And there's not much worse than crawling out of a warm sleeping bag in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Ugh. On particularly cold nights, you can boil some water, add it to an algae, and put it in your sleeping bag. And voila, hot water bottle, toast in your toes. A level parking spot goes a long way for a good night's sleep. If you can't find a level parking spot, be sure to put your head on the uphill side to avoid waking up with a headache. If you can't find a parking spot that's level side to side, be sure to prop up the downhill wheels so you avoid rolling into the wall in the middle of the night. Leveling blocks are really handy in this scenario and don't cost too much. All you do is put them in line with your wheels and drive on top of them. Once you get the setup dialed, throw in your earplugs and put on your sleeping mask. Sweet dreams. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> it's so dark. 